Hey guys, my name is Noem and today I will be reviewing a very unique pair of shoes from Puma which is made specifically for gamers. Roughly a week ago I came across the article that was describing the shoes and that they were made for esports, they have been made with players in mind and I got very curious and when I saw the picture I realized that boy they look really good for dance games but you can't really tell unless you try them and unless you figure out how they're built or what their grip is. So I immediately ordered a pair and it finally arrived. Before I begin, the question you must be all wondering, are they suitable for dance games? Yes, they are, but please stick around because I will explain what downsides these shoes have because you definitely need to know a bit more about them, more about them before making the purchase. Now, let's talk about these boys. So the first thing that I noticed is was that they are extremely flexible. You can see this bend going through the middle. There is no sole in this bit, so you can bend them almost in half very easily. They're very light, they look very comfy, and the design is a bit better than regular Mizuno design, which I was very happy about. So they are very flexible, which is very important for your triples and brackets. These shoes consist of two parts, so there is a shoe itself, which reminds of a sock a little bit, and there there's an insole inside of the shoe, which is quite flexible by itself, but it's a bit stiff if you touch it. It's very light, but it's not as thin as you would expect it to be. This is the rough part of the shoe, because if you take it out, the shoe becomes very, very wobbly. It can do this, uh, because it still bends in the middle. And I tried playing in them without the insole, it didn't work at all. So guys, when I, got, when I took the shoes out of the box, I was speechless when I put them on because the grip is just insane. Imagine these shoes having claws and just getting into your wooden floor and just staying there and not letting go. That's how they feel. This rubber is, is just, it feels like I would put it on a glass and it would just stay there. And it's awful, right? You can't play in them. But I got curious. I didn't want to send them back immediately. So I went to my friend's house and she had this lovely nine panel platform uh, with acrylic buttons on them. And I applied some powder on them. <laughs> Sorry shoes, you're gonna go back. But I cleaned them off, it's all nice and clean. And I played in those. And it got so much better with powder. And it, they did eat a lot of powder because all the pores started absorbing it. It took some time to figure out the right amount of powder, but just with any other shoes, most of the shoes I'd say, the powder wears off, so you need to top up a bit. Baby powder, wool polish, deodorant, whatever you use, you will become dependent on it. If you didn't bring baby powder with the shoes to the arcade, you won't be able to play. This is gonna be a waste of your time. So that's to me personally is a big commitment because now I need to carry more items around me because when I play my Mizunos they don't really need that much baby powder. When I was playing ITG um, I realized that I quite like these shoes. I could play ITG in them but you should keep in mind that ITG is the game that is mostly played in socks at least in Europe and uh, most of the people would keep playing in socks because these shoes feel nothing like socks. This this is not a sock, this is a glorified slipper, but it's also a shoe. <laughs> if you're wondering whether these could replace you, your ITG socks, they won't and they can't. But if you're looking for a nice replacement for your Nikes, these might actually work. So if you are playing FA in ITG, this might be pretty good for you. Now, after I finished playing ITG, I went straight to the arcade because I needed to make sure I try the shoes with those metal panels. And with the raw amount of powder, it was pretty good. I like them. I like them a lot, a lot. I'm not gonna lie. They're very comfy. They feel better than my Nikes. I still love my Mizunos and I like them more. But because Mizunos are not being produced anymore and these just came out to shops, in the long run, I might swap to these shoes. The biggest problem with them is actually the sizing because I am size four and I order all of my shoes in size 4, sometimes they're a bit smaller, sometimes they're a bit bigger, but this pair was extremely big, it felt like 5. They have a bit of bounce to them, uh, because Mizunos have absolutely no bounce, and these boys 
they bounce a bit and it feels great um uh, they're not as thick as nike um nike run free free run uh whatever version everyone's playing in right now they're not as thick they're thinner so you can feel the platform better and i had no problems with streaming and triples were so easy they were they were, it, they were great especially because of this bend this tiny gap in the middle really helps you to bend the whole shoe so that makes a difference so don't worry about your triples don't worry about your quads it's all gonna be a nice and fine they only come in one color um that's um a disappointment but at least it's black color so it's gonna suit everything else and as for the fabric it doesn't feel great but it doesn't really matter that much does it because we use them to play pump not to touch them if you are thinking of purchasing these shoes i would definitely recommend you trying them out i think we should give them a proper chance they were not designed for dance gamers that's for sure all in all i think these shoes are well-rounded and are suitable for playing dance games as long as you supplement them with baby powder or anything that reduces the grip that's gonna be it for today guys thank you so much for sticking around i was very excited to make this review because i could not sleep knowing that out there might be another good pair of shoes that you can use for dance games i hope my review helped you um, to learn a bit more about this model and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below also if you would like to get content frequently youtube changed this its algorithm so you need to hit the bell button um, otherwise you won't know that my video came out so that's a thing now <laughs> thank you so much for sticking around and i hope to see you in my next video bye now to add it forever wants to add